this lesson you can learn how to design this beautiful four steps infographic in powerpoint keys that i am using during the design you can see at the below bar follow these keys and watch the video till the end go to format background i am going to give it some different color and this gray one color and go to insert take a rounded rectangle and drag it like this from uh, left to right and uh, i am going uh, shape outline white outline shape fill give it some different color and this one will be okay go to shape outline and make it sweat little bit little bit bigger and to two hole one or four i am going to give it some shadow effect and uh, give this one shadow effect and uh, the transparency will be 80 i think so and uh, 102 34 104 size will be okay and the blur will be 11. Uh, go to insert and uh, take uh, a rounded rectangle again and drag it like this little bit smaller in size yes i'm going to look uh, how it looks like yes i'm going to make it little bit smaller in size by holding alt you can make it easily fix in size yes and uh, i'm going to make it okay give it some different color by through the eyedropper and this one color shape outline make it no outline and uh, control d to duplicate it and uh, i'm going to give it some gradient color i need four five stops gradient and uh, these are uh, the dark gray and uh, the next one is the light gray and as well as from the other side these two color will be choose and uh, the middle one will be white i'm going to soft edges and make it uh, this one choose and uh, size will be five and uh, i'm going to fix it and make it little bit bigger in size yes and uh, align it perfectly yes select this shape and uh, bring to front and uh, the okay and fix it the gradient uh, and the soft edges shape will give a shadow effect to the top rounded rectangle select both by holding shift and ctrl g to group it okay i am going to take a all shape by holding shift and drag by holding shift alt and drag and uh, place it here at the corner and shape outline white outline shape fill to the recent color yes pick the recent color that i have used recently go to insert and take another uh, rectangle rounded yes this one and uh, drag it select this one control shift c and control shift v to transfer the effect of the one shape to the another uh, other shape shape outline make it no outline shape fill white fill and I'm going to fix it here at this corner and go to uh, yes a little bit more smaller by holding alt you can uh, smoothly make it uh, in size okay but through the arrow keys I'm going to fix it here and uh, go to insert take a text box step one okay caps lock and step one zero one select choose the font monty Sirot. you can uh, download monty Sirot font from the google and uh, it is a free font and the size i am going to give it 10 and place it here at the center of the rounded rectangle let me place 
and give it a dark gray color okay so i'm going to bring some text that i have typed earlier control c and control v to bring it to the slide i typed earlier this text to save the time and place it here at the center of the shape I'm going to make it a little bit more smaller, this small rounded rectangle. And uh, by holding Alt, you can smoothly resize any, any shape. I'm going to select all, Control D to duplicate it. Let me zoom out to see how it looks, yes and uh, put it here to an arrow to the first one shape it's okay control d to duplicate it and put it here down from the second shape in arrow yes control d to duplicate it and put it from the first shape down from the first shape in arrow you can uh, increase or dec decrease these shapes and these uh, according to your uh, title or subtitles of infographic and uh, by holding by clicking uh, control d to duplicate it let me select uh, just only the infographic control c to copy it and uh, take a text box and control v let me copy the infographic okay and make it uh, select Montessirot I think light is will be okay yes hit enter and uh, the size will go to 12 around about 10.5 I think so that uh, 12 will be okay yes and uh, give it white color let me change uh, these color also to a different one through the eyedropper pick the eye uh, through the eyedropper and uh, also this one recent color recent this one yes control d to duplicate it then for graphic text only yes and uh, put it on the second shape or the second shape i'm going to also change these colors you can bring uh, a color palette and uh, you can also give these shapes your desired color okay let me fix it control d to duplicate it and place over the fourth one shape and uh, I'm going to now give it a different one color, the fourth one color through the eyedropper. Pick the eyedropper and uh, select the fourth one color. Also give this the recent color or through the eyedropper you can also give the, that color. Let me change these numbers to three and four okay let me bring some icons i need some icons okay go to insert and uh, let me okay let me first uh, fix this headlines Oh, sorry, Monty Sirot. 
and uh, light i'm going no i need no light color no light montessirot and uh, i'm going to because this uh, headlines so i'm giving it uh, a little bit bigger font fonts number select infographic and uh, make it bold and select this one light and uh, make it uh, the size uh, little bit smaller loose i think so 20 will be okay no it's very loose i am going to give it a less number 17 i think 17 will be okay no more loose sorry more spacing i think 15 will be okay and uh, give it okay yes this is okay go to insert take an all shape and drag an all shape by holding shift alt and uh, drag it a shape outline give it this color and shape outline no outline shape fill give the first one color control d to duplicate it and uh, pick this color control d to duplicate it again shape fill pick this color control d to duplicate it and uh, pick this last one color according to the shapes i'm going to make it in a row to put it in a row yes and uh, distribute horizontally and distribute it work equal and horizontal yes distribute horizontally and uh, align it to the top or bottom yeah on top yes okay let me fix it and i'm going to bring some icons now this is the last stage and uh, you can find uh, your desired icons by here in this icon tab and just search icon bar select take uh, write your text and you will find uh, your desired icon here i need some business icon four icon i needs i need four icon yes go to insert and bring it to the slide by holding shift alt and uh, make it a little bit smaller in size according to the all shape i'm going to put these icon over these all shapes one by one the growth will go in the fourth step and uh, there is a meeting yes select all icons by holding shift and give it white color now i'm going to delete these subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon thank you for watching